some amazing characters around the gunch tank in the last few weeks. Yes. Did you see Mary Whitehouse? I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm not in there. Yes, right. Not politician stuff shirts, generally. No, most of them aren't. You do have to do a lot of strange things, though. I mean, politicians traditionally mm -hmm. kiss babies and all that sort of thing. I mean, is, have you now ascended to the lowest of the low by sitting next to this tank? No, I think the worst I ever did was take part in a televised charity football match along with a lot of fellow wimps, television presenters and actors and politicians and so on, <laughs> against a team of professional football players. We, t we thought it was for fun, they took it seriously, so we were not only massacred, but black and blue for weeks after. <laughs> <laughs> I got called out my last <laughs> Now, I have to ask, of course, of all your colleagues in the house, I mean, who would you most, who, it's, it's secret, I mean, we won't, we won't go any further in it. Who would you most like to put in the gunch tank? Well, I won't tell you because I'm sure she wouldn't agree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wouldn't it be a great idea, wouldn't it? <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, yeah, wonderful. Yeah, right. Dream for weeks on that. This is Linda Mackay, and actually she has got political aspirations. She, she was hoping I this was a safe seat. <laughs> But uh, it's, it's a series of lost deposits that are in there, and uh, just the right constituency, I would have thought. Are you all right? No. No, regretting every moment. She's a beauty advisor in a well-known Merseyside department store. She's been married four years to Paul, who she calls Honey Lamb. Uh, Paul calls her his lovely chicken pie. And she's got scrawny legs. <laughs> Meaningful relationship. Okay, you know the idea, don't you? We've got seven yes. prizes on offer. They all carry a points tally. You've got to do five of the seven. If you bust a hundred points, you lose, and you'll hear this sound. So, what are you going to go for? I'll go for the pocket TV, please. Right. We're doing Dickensian characters tonight, and we will start the time now. It rhymes with bleat, and it means you look smart. Neat. Yes. Um, uh, her and him. <laughs> Uh, one of those, red one, you're wearing it. Tiny Tim. Yeah. Tiny Tim. Yes, Tiny Tim. Right. right. Um, oh, uh, Crystal Moon. Yeah. You huff and... Huff. Uh, uh, yes. Another word for a policeman. It's a short American he, version he of it. Right, so hop, 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 hop. Yes. Um, if you've eaten something yesterday, you... <laughs> More or less. Uh, they buzz around like that. Indeed. Martin Tuzzleby. It, it's another word for... No, it wasn't. It's, it's another word for a dime. An American dime and a... Uh, a right to a tickle. Yes. Hit and a smith. Yes. That part of you uh, rhymes with... um Tummock. Um, if you take all your clothes off, uh, it rhymes with care. Care. Yeah, you would be care. Yes, care. Um, yeah, or oh, something like the centre. Uh, what's that say? Quick, quick. Core. Yeah. What is it? What is it? Oh, um, quick, quick. Um, this is Corbin. Corbin. I'm a Corbin. Price. Price. Coffee maker. Yes, blood pump. It goes pump. Yeah. Uh, it's another word for seat and rhymes with lair. Uh, uh, chair. Lair. Lair. Oh, if, if, the, if the container is all the way up to the top, it is absolutely full. Yeah. <laughs> time because you took it so long and that Macorba one that was naughty wasn't it Linda? Yes of course. Now what about saying a nice big thank you to Sir David for helping.
time because you took it so long on that Macorber one. That was naughty, wasn't it, Linda? Yes, of course. Now, what about saying nice big thank you to Sir David for helping? Thank you. <laughs>